Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're doing well today and that you are taking care of yourself and having a great holiday season. Today we are building a base game family home. I believe it ends up being three bedrooms. Oh, it ends up being four bedrooms actually and only one bathroom unfortunately and I think it came out to around 30k. So I was on a budget a little bit and this house is built with only base game. It is a little bit of a typical uh, suburban style home. That's kind of what we have available in the base game. Um, all of the modern stuff is kind of expensive. So this is what I ended up going with. And I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, I think I've definitely done better builds, but base game is really, really hard to build with. But I also understand that some people just don't have a lot of packs and you know, want to play this game even if it is only the base game. Especially with the base game going free recently, I kind of want to do more limited pack builds or base game only builds because there's a lot of new players right now and a lot of people with only the base game. I also have some more limited pack builds coming out soon, but also some builds that involve way too many packs. So Hopefully I can find a good balance between the two and kind of make everyone feel included. I also know that not everybody is here to download the houses. Sometimes people just want to watch a speed build. I know I do that a lot. I'll just watch people build and listen to them talk. But if you are interested in downloading the houses, they are always on my gallery. My gallery ID should pop up on the screen right now. and. Hopefully, if you do play in this house, you enjoy it and have a great time playing with your family. I think the hardest thing for me about building a base game home is actually just trying to figure out a good color scheme. I feel like a lot of the colors in the base game are not great and we're definitely lacking more variety and more neutral kind of tones. So I feel like that's what I struggle with the most. The furniture isn't bad. I just... I need more swatches on stuff. I feel like I always need more swatches on stuff. I know we got a huge swatch update, gosh, a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, but I still feel like I need more. I still feel like it's not quite enough. We really just need more neutral tones in the base game because what we have right now is not working for me. So um, EA Maxis, if you ever happen to watch any of my videos, which you probably won't, but if you do, I want more neutral colors and I want more like pastel or soft colors, like a soft pink or a soft blue. Well, we have a lot of soft blues, but more soft colors like the blue in the base game. Anyways, I hope everyone, like I said, is doing well and hopefully finals should be over for anybody that's in school right now. I know I just finished my finals and thankfully I did pass all of my college classes, although I wasn't sure about one of them. I was a little bit nervous because I was kind of struggling with my mental health a little bit towards the end of uh, the semester here. And so I was kind of nervous that I would have too many missing assignments or that things just wouldn't work out the way I wanted them to. But I did pass, thankfully, so I kind of feel better now. And it's kind of a sigh of relief to know that at least that all worked out fine. I've mentioned this in another video, but I am going to see some family in Wyoming and I am really excited. I'm leaving in like three days and I have a lot to do before then and a lot of voiceovers to record and stuff like that, but I am excited and I will get to see the snow and hang out with my family for like a week. I will say though, I'm not looking forward to actually having to travel there. I'm a very nervous traveler. I hate airports. I hate people. I am always scared that something bad is going to happen with the airplanes. So getting there is very nerve wracking for me, especially because I fly by myself. And I only started flying by myself maybe like six months after I turned 18. So it's been like a year and a half and I still get super, super nervous and I can navigate fine and figure everything out fine, but I still kind of get worried about something bad happening. <laughs> I will say I have the slightly more realistic fear of my flights getting canceled or severely delayed uh, because of weather or whatever else happens. Um, 
I got stuck in LA like a year ago. I was there and they had delayed my flight by like 45 minutes at first and this was at this point this is like 5 p.m they delayed my flight and then i waited and they delayed it again this time by like three hours so now it's like late in the evening and i'm sitting there and i'm waiting and they announced that the flight's been canceled and so now i'm like okay well what do i do i'm supposed to be home by now and you know i've been waiting on this flight and I didn't know what to do. I'm in LA by myself. This also had happened like across the entire airport. Every every flight was canceled because of some kind of technical computer issue in like all of the planes for the company I was flying with. So I am going to the like service desk or whatever and the line is ridiculously long. Like so many people like down the corridor. Terrible. And so I'm standing in line and I like schedule plane tickets on my phone for the next morning, the earliest flight I could get. I think it was like 6 a.m. So then I wait in line for like an hour and then I finally get to the line and I'm like, listen, I already have plane tickets. I'm fine as far as that. Just get me a hotel. And so I got a hotel, thankfully, and then I had to take a shuttle to the hotel from the airport. And it's like almost midnight now and I'm by myself in LA on a shuttle it's cold and I'm like miserable. And so then I get to my hotel and I'm like crying and I run a bath because that usually will make me feel better. And I was also freezing for being on the shuttle because it was just kind of open. And so I sat in the bath and while I was on the bath, I like ordered Chipotle on my phone and sat and cried for a little bit. And then my food got there and I got out of the bath and ate my burrito on my hotel room bed and then slept. And then I still had to get up the next morning at like 5 a.m. Actually, I think I got up at like 4 30 because my flight was at 6 and I did not want to miss this flight. And so I get to the airport. I had to take the shuttle again. This time it's super early in the morning. I'm not having a good time. That was just overall like such a bad, bad experience. Like nothing bad happened as far as like I was safe. I was fine. It was just like I was so, so anxious and like just terrified to be alone in LA. Like I was. I was 18 at the time and I had barely flown and this was just kind of terrifying. I just am scared that it's going to happen again. And you know, for how much I fly, it probably will happen again. But at least this time I know that like, I know what to do. I know how to handle it. And I think I handled it pretty well, especially for the fact that I was this little 18 year old <laughs> in LAX by myself. But I will say there were a lot of tears. Um, I called my mom when my flight got delayed the first time and I was like, mom, I've never had a flight delayed before. Like I'm nervous. And then I called her the second time when it was delayed by like three hours or whatever. And I was super upset at this point. I'm like crying because I'm like, I just want to go home. Like this is not good. And then when it got canceled, I'm like sitting on a bench, sobbing on the phone with my mom and like these really nice people came and like sat with me and talked to me and were like, hey, are you okay? You know, I hope you're okay. I hope you're doing well. It was so sweet, but I was so embarrassed and I was like so upset over this whole scenario. And now looking back on it, it like wasn't that big of a deal. And I'm fine with the fact that I cried because, you know, nobody likes being in a situation like that. But oh my gosh, it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot for me. <laughs> I should also mention with that story that I hadn't slept the night before. Um, I was so nervous about flying at the time, like way more than I am now. I was so nervous in general that I hadn't slept the night before I had to catch my flight, uh, partially because I was nervous about flying and also because my flight was at like 4 a.m. or something. And so I was like trying to sleep and I was worried that I wouldn't wake up in time for my flight. And so I stayed up all night the night before. And so when I'm telling this story about how I'm like at the airport, super late at night, trying to get a hotel and all of that, I was also so sleep deprived at that point. I was exhausted and my brain was just not functioning. There were only tears and like emotions. That was, that was all I could experience at that point. <laughs> but that's not gonna happen this time. Everything's gonna be fine. And I'm going to get there and see my family and have a wonderful Christmas and then I'm gonna come home and relax and spend my New Year's with my family here and it's gonna be great. Flights are gonna go great. Nothing's gonna get delayed. 
everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry for going on a complete tangent for the last half of this video, but hopefully you enjoyed my dumb little story, and also hopefully you enjoyed watching me build this house. We are reaching the end, so enjoy the screenshots. Have a wonderful day today. Make sure you take care of yourself and drink some water, eat some food, know that you are loved. I am proud of you and I hope you have a great holiday season.